This is Twit. Should we talk about Google Cloud? Because I know this this is today news. This is yesterday and today. Google Cloud Next 2019 happening. And I sat Why down to do my and it? I sat down to do my homework. And I'm like, all right, well, this is big news. I better understand this. And then like eight paragraphs in, and I had birds swirling over my head. Because <laughs> while I understand the consumer implications of why it's why it's important for all these things to be taking place, uh, from the in the weeds perspective, I'm completely lost. So tell me, Stacy. Oh, Higginbotham here. Yes. Join me in the exactly. weeds. <laughs> Take us into the weeds. What what were you excited to hear about? Okay, so I'm gonna, we talked about this on today's show because, okay, I'm, let me organize my thinking. All right, the big news is Google Anthos. And the other big news item that I thought was exciting was Google Cloud Run. And they're sort of related. So Anthos is a new cloud infrastructure platform for Google. And basically what Google's done here is made this really awesome jujitsu move where it has turned its weakness into a strength. So other cloud providers like Amazon and Microsoft are actually far and away bigger than Google when it comes to having customers adopt them. So Google's like, all right. And Google has great tech. I, I don't understand the disconnect there, but it's there. Google said, all right, we're not going to be number one or number two. Let's open everything up and make it so people can run wherever they want, which is awesome. So well, what you, you can do... Wherever. Well, you can run on Microsoft's cloud, you can run on Amazon's cloud, you can run on Google's cloud, and you can tie all those applications together. So that is what Anthos is doing. Don't the and others have to cooperate in that? No. Have they cooperated? No, they Anthos becomes to. this dashboard where you can pull in all of your data from all of your applications running in various different clouds and on premise. And the reason why I was excited about this is because I am an IoT buff yeah. and we've got so many companies who are like, I'm going to do this calculation and stuff on prem, this I'm going to do in the cloud. So this is a way to tie it all together using Kubernetes. And so, yay! And Kubernetes is a framework for managing applications across the cloud and in containers and it's awesome and Google invented it a while back and it's open source and yay. Okay, so that's Anthos. Questions? Comments? I'm excited because you're excited, Stacy. <laughs> it is. It is a really big deal. Um, it's. I mean, it, or, hey, interoperability. But that that sounds like a great yeah. thing. You know, that sounds well, like a lot is, of flexibility. It is a hard technical challenge. So there's a lot of questions here. Like, how do you handle security for your applications running in between clouds? How is Google going to track price changes? Like, there's going to be a lot to dig into here. But at its face, which is all I've got right now, are their blog posts. You know, it, it's actually really cool. So, Cloud Run. Cloud Run gets us into serverless. Do we remember what serverless is, y'all? I, I mean, I can imagine it. It means there's no server. Yes. Oh, okay, so good. What's What's cool about serverless <laughs> computing? And you've got this with uh, Google has this, Amazon has it. Uh, Amazon's is Lambda. So what happens with serverless is you're using you're using a container, and that container is going to contain your application and all the libraries you need to run that application. Which means now you've got this cool little container that you can just shove onto a server in the cloud. You can shove it down into you know a server at the edge. You you can run it anywhere. You can actually run them on. I have someone who's running containers on light bulbs. You guys. So the idea. What? Yeah, you package up your application, you run it on a light bulb, a connected light. And so it's very cool. That's why containers are cool. They're tidy, they run anywhere. Yay. Okay. Nice. So sounds like it's tailor made for viruses and malware and uh, bad stuff no. to spread around and not be trackable. Like pack some malware into a container and run it. There's a lot of security features. So Kubernetes helps you manage those kind of security features and mm -hmm. we're about to get way out of my depth here but i can tell you this is something that people have thought of and there are ways to deal with that <laughs> but i can't tell you a whole lot more about it <laughs> uh, okay so with cloud run i kind of went off on a little kubernetes tangent so with cloud run what you could or with serverless what you can do is you throw those up and you run them for only when you need them and this is really cool because you don't have to provision an entire server for what you're trying to do. You just are like, oh, I need to run it. <laughs> Running. And then it shuts down. And so you don't pay as much. 
this is awesome for IoT. This is awesome for any functional things like I'm going to turn on an application when someone logs into my website or when someone signs up for something or clicks through on a ticket, you know, a mobile ticket. It's going to spin up a quick serverless infrastructure or serverless a Lambda or I guess Cloud Run. And then it'll be like, oh, I'm running the application. Then I run down and I shut down. So that's what serverless is. It's awesome. It's cheaper. Yay. And Cloud Run is a way to do that. And you can do it across multiple clouds as well. So this is really awesome. It's HTTP driven container. So your container is going to get an HTTP URL and you basically run that wherever you want in a really easy way for developers to run it. Ooh, and, so it's so, yes. so, so whole. Yeah, okay, so you're right. So you're not just pulling a media type, a photo from here or there, you're pulling code from here or there. Yes. Yes, a container yes. is your application and all the code you need to run it. So then you just like fling that around wherever you want to run it in a really easy way. And it's pretty awesome. Hmm. And so that's the super duper cloud stuff for all the super duper nerdies out there. And I would love to hear more from y'all if you're a developer about how easy this is going to be to use or what you're worried about, just because I want to know. <laughs> 